Upon entering the Hollow Earth, Kong is introduced to a brand new biome featuring wildlife that was also present in Skull Island. Except these, ladies and gentlemen, these are warbats. Stealthy, gliding snake titans with armor-crunching jaws built to eat even armored creatures. After Heave 3 was taken down by the first warbat, Kong reaches for the second one, right before it crunches the next heave, slamming its head on the ground. The distance between the gripping point and the head allowed Kong to slam the warbat's skull with a tremendous amount of force. In other words, the distance traveled in a circular trajectory made the impact all the more deadly. But what really killed the warbat was a sharp stone protruding from the ground, which pierced the warbat's skull, killing it immediately. Fortunately for Kong, the first warbat that was taken down seemed to be larger than the second one. The length of the warbat seen in these clips suggests that the first warbat was possibly larger than the second warbat titan. As the second warbat recovers from the impact, it charges towards Kong while coiling its body around him to constrict him. This snake titan seemed to use its wings to also try to suffocate Kong. Thanks to the heave's mounted weaponry, it inflicted burns on Warbat's exposed flanks, allowing Kong to release himself from the Warbat. This is the turning point of this fight. Kong now understands the lethality of those wings and immediately rolls the Warbat up to prevent it from moving and attacking. This is followed by the constant slamming of the Warbat's head, followed by three additional blows. At this point, the Warbat is already dead, but Kong proceeds to make sure by ripping its head off. It's unclear what body part Kong is feasting on here, but we can guess it's a mix of its green blood, the spinal cord, veins, ducts, and other organs that mimic spindling tissue. As gruesome as this looks, this is nothing compared to the next battle of the Titans. This has been Jacob from Dangerville. Come check us out if you haven't already. Now back to Goji Center.